Hi, Andrew here. Last week we tested M80A1 at lower velocity. That's the Army's new, improved, lead-free, super wonder round. This week we're going to test Mark 319 at lower velocity, which is the Marine Corps' super wonder whiz-bang round, although it's not entirely lead-free. We loaded a Mark 319 projectile on a 300 blackout case and fired it from an AR-15.com 8-inch upper into 10% calibrated gelatin. Let's head out to the range and take a look. One six one six. All right, so we didn't get any pieces of the projectile on this one. The neck is fairly long, relatively speaking, at about three inches. Pretty decent sized temporary stretch cavity. And it does look like this thing was expanding and fragmenting, but it came out the bottom of the block here, went through my table. So the penetration was some point over 15 and a half inches. Can't really say for sure. After we get done running the other tests, if there's enough room in the blocks, we'll see if we can capture some pieces of this projectile. One, six, two, six. All right, so we shot it again, and uh, we're looking at the bottom of the block here. It tracked downward again. It actually made it in the second block this time. This here, this is actually a fragment from a different test. Again, it kind of curved, came out the bottom of this second backer block here. Still didn't get any pieces of the bullet. The neck was slightly shorter than the earlier test at about two inches. Temporary stretch cavity is about the same at seven inches long by roughly four inches wide. Okay, a few things to take note of here. First, sorry, I wasn't able to capture the core of the bullet. However, based on the appearance of the gel, the performance was outstanding. And in comparison to the Mark 318 test, this actually still had a fairly short neck. The Mark 318 had a few inches of neck and this had uh, pretty close to no neck, although it wasn't as rapid upset as we saw in the M80A1 or the M855A1. It was still very rapid upset and a big, huge temporary stretch cavity. Of course, as always, the temporary stretch cavity is smaller, being a lower velocity, less energy round, but still <laughs> really, really impressive temporary stretch cavity. If you're a hand loader, maybe not a bad idea to pick up a few of these bullets for 300 blackout. As far as the Army-Navy game goes, both the M80A1 and the Mark 319 are doing really, really well at these reduced velocities, and 1,600 feet per second is just wandering along for a rifle round. Very impressive on both parts. Of course, the M80A1 has better performance on barriers than the Mark 319, but they're both doing a bomb-ass job in tissue. If you have any questions, if you disagree with some of the methods, if you have some feedback on how we could do things better, if you just want to tell us what you'd like to see us test next, leave a comment below. We're always looking for your input. As always, have a great day.